Our verses for today are Lamentations 25. Uh, our verses for today are Lamentations 3:25 and 26 that says, "The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord." This week as we're studying patience, we're defining patience as Delay is useful evidence that God is working and God is good. We tend to see delay as punishment or frustration, but delay can be evidence that God is working things together for our good. So what do we see in our verse here? That the Lord is good, I guess specifically, to those who are willing to wait for him, right? Everybody wants, uh, I go to the gas station, buy the Powerball ticket, all my problems are solved by midnight tomorrow. That's not the way that God works. And so those who are willing to say, God, I'm not getting the answer from the doctor. I'm not getting the business breakthrough. I'm not getting the relationship change that I want. Yet still, I'm willing to see delay as evidence of your goodness. Well, those are the people that God blesses. He's good to those people. In fact, the writer goes on to say that waiting quietly is good. Waiting quietly for God to come through is good. Why is it good? Um, I don't know about you, you ever been at like the airport and there's evidence of the flight delay and most people don't take it quietly. They start texting, they start calling, they start yelling, they start frustrating, they start getting wah, 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 wah. And all that does is bring frustration and grief to that guy behind the counter who really can't do anything about it anyway. To wait quietly for the Lord is to say, God, I'm not going to fuss or stress or throw my hands up in the air. I'm going to trust you enough to believe that you're working and you're working in me and with me right now. So your delay is not bad. Your delay is good. I'm going to wait for you. That's patience.